do you feel like uh, like numb to the to the normalcies of life now? You know what I'm saying? Having gone through all that, I love to take my son to school. Really, that's one of my favorite yeah, yeah, yeah. things. It's so much fun, and I know he loves it too. And um, you know, it happens uh, once a week, twice a week. Um, and if I'm in a weird sleeping pattern, we'll go down and I'll take him out to school. And I always surprise him, and he's, he's, he literally sat down the other day and he was still half asleep. His mom said to him, morning, sunshine. And then my deep voice came in saying, morning. And he went, huh? <laughs> First word out of bed. I thought that's, I've never even heard him make that noise. And he went, wow, daddy, that was the biggest surprise of my life, you being here today. That's the best shit. That's awesome, man. So that's, like, that. so that's like your new dopamine dump. Oh, it's, just, it's just like those, those little... Taking care of him and watching him grow, and hopefully he does it a little bit better than I did. Man, that's amazing. Yeah, that's it's, it's the coolest thing, man. I didn't, I didn't know you were a dad until you said it on stage today. You're, and you're a young dad, too. Yeah, and, I had my son when I was 23. Yeah, so. Oh, yeah. And, and this is actually interesting. Um, the, the, the mom was a judge yep. on X Factor yep. Ju- judging you. Rigged. Yeah. rigged. <laughs> Baby mama drama, brother. Listen, when I was 14, I was hot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's another part of the story. No, that's no, okay, a, so it, there's a bigger part of the story. Okay. There's a bigger part of the story. There's a bigger part of the story. So I went on, and what happened in one of my auditions is they put a female judge in front of me, and I, to make myself stand out, halfway through the song, I winked at her. It's a licensed weapon. Please don't try to. I'm touch gonna. Me. I'm gonna steal that. Don't touch me. <laughs> um, and so, like, I went back to school the day after, and I winked at Cheryl in the audition. And my friends are going, "What the fucking hell do you think you're doing, winking at Cheryl Cole on the TV, whatever?" That's like, just you know, came naturally. It was just one of the things that I, I was such a little prick when I was a kid. Um, <laughs> and then, like, fast forward years later, yeah, we ended up having a having a, a baby together. It was really. How much of it do you attribute to that wink? What you um, say? I mean, the the wink, like I say, is a registered weapon. I have to check it in. It's just this eye. Would you mind? Would you mind uh, firing that weapon at that camera right there? The oh, dude, fuck, dude. I got hit by some of that. That's intense. It's Coach, a lot to just keep your hands to yourselves. Aww. I got hit by shrapnel. We're not making any more babies one, in here. That was too late. No, but I mean, you know what? A blessing. I mean, it's the weirdest how I met your mother story ever because you know as she was the judge on the show. I had a hole in my shoe at the time, um, <laughs> and yeah. So I mean, fantastic time in life. That's insane. It yeah, worked it out. Good. It worked out great, and she's the best mom in the world. I couldn't ask for someone better. You know, the, the relationship we have with each other now as friends has, has, has only grown more since, you know, everything that we broke up for a reason that we broke up. And now, you know, she gives me full autonomy of my own life to be able to go and do what I do. And at the same time, I know he's being taken care of because he's, he's all she cares about. And that's, you know, you couldn't ask for more. Based in the UK? Yeah. They live like three minutes from my house. Oh, oh very cool. Are you still living out there? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, I always glue myself to where he is. Like, I don't want to miss a thing of that. And, and I owe it to him. You know, my life now is his. My money's his. You know, I don't want to tell him that too much. Cause yeah, I was yeah, going to you know, say, uh, you have to be careful because... You, well, this is a constant conversation I have myself. Like, what do I give him? I've actually got several companies that are up and running that I know he can run one day if he wants to. And if he wants to sell them, he can sell them. If he wants to run them, he can run them. That's his choice. I mean, he's five, right? It's a long way to go. <laughs> but I like to think ahead. And, and, and he's, he's a lovely, lovely, lovely boy. Like, we've been blessed. Like, the point where parents used to come around to the house and, you know, Bear was always really calm and listened and whatever else. And then these other kids, like, run around like little savages. And the moms are going to like Cheryl, like, <coughs> how did you do that? It was almost like that moment in Wolf of Wall Street when he yeah. sells the penny stock. That was, that was literally Cheryl as a parent. So, uh, you know, she'd been fantastic. And I mean, it, obviously it has to do something with parenting. Yeah. And, 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 and you and her as parents. Imagine I was your dad. You, you, I mean, bro, <laughs> you're being facetious, but like, I can see you're a great dad. You know, you're, you're, no, you're very wise beyond your I years. Put my time you're self-aware. In, like, I put my time in with my son. For and, sure. And I also, I like to speak to people who are new dads also because you don't know what's coming and it's, it's different. And, you know, it, uh, to be honest with you, it, yeah, it ruined a relationship for, for me in that point, but for all the, all the right reasons. Um, and it's like, you think kids is a blank page. They're born. And I mean, when Bear was first born, I was so excited for him to be born. I thought, what if I don't love him enough? Like, it was such a worry for me. And his mom had, had, had she'd hemorrhaged quite badly in birth, so she was asleep the whole day. So for the first 24 hours of his life, I was 23, with a baby in a room, and I had to take care of it, and I didn't even have any baby sisters or anything, so it was very fun. But the end of the night, finished with me with a PlayStation controller, with my little boy on my arm, like, I'm playing FIFA, like, this is the coolest thing ever. It was the best. Um, but yeah, you don't get a blank. You don't get a blank page. They show you what they can do, and then you steer them. So it's actually not that. It's not not. not that it's not that difficult. It's very hard. But it's like, you've, as long as that's what you look for, rather than you trying to be like, this is what you're going to do with your life. I mean, the scariest thing for me is him waking up one day and going, I want to be famous, and he's already like, I'm going to sing, strip that down with you on stage, Daddy, and it scares the crap out of me because I know what he did to me. 
I was going to ask you, has he shown any signs of like being good yeah. or, or passionate about any specific I pursuits? Mean, he's too young to show to show any, any of any of those things <laughs> yet in my eyes. He's uh, he's got amazing timing dance wise. If I play a song, he will. He, uh, me and him have the same trait in our brain. It's the same as uh, what Charlie Puth has, but I was never taught notes on the piano, so I couldn't tell you. But mm. if you ask me what note was, I could be able to press it pretty, like within seconds. And he literally will sit at the piano and he'll find the key. Perfect in pitch. Yeah. Often when I rehearse, I will start singing before the song starts, and then the person will start playing, and I'm already in tune before the song starts. That's Interesting. It's a really weird thing. If you if you could see him or or like guide him or manage him into. Uh, a life that mirrored or, rep or, or, or you know, replicated yours and the same levels of success, would mm. you do that? Listen, I will let him do whatever he wants. I've protected his face since young. I chose to be famous when I was 14. I didn't choose to be famous, but I chose to do what I did. Yep. I also know that you can't put the lid back on. Once you pop, you just can't right. stop. It's like a Pringle. Yep. And <laughs> for me, he, he, he has to make that choice when he's older, and I know what choice he's going to make already because he's just absolutely dying for it. Like, he goes to rehearsals. His mom's a pop star, too, so he goes to rehearsals with his mom. I got videos of him with his shirt off, holding the microphone, very much like his old man. His family <laughs> hates shirts. I <laughs> we're, we're nudists. <laughs> Hedonists. <laughs> and yeah, I've got videos of him doing the dance to the weekend song and whatever else. And like, he wants to learn piano. And like, I know whatever he does, he's going to tenfold anything that I've done in my life. And that's the, what more could you ask for? And I would never stop him. I just, at least I did all the wrong things for him, so he doesn't have to do them. <laughs> no, you're right. You're right. That's that's like the ultimate ultimate goal. I think mm. that when they asked me on stage, actually inspired by just hearing about you being a father and how you talked about being a dad, um, uh, what 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 I want people to remember me by. Like my last minute answer was like, I'd love to be a, an amazing dad. Clever. I'd, I'd love to be an amazing dad and. You know, you dicked uh, on me so many times in that interview today, by the way. What, what happened? You bought Gary a fucking present. You fucking... I didn't... <laughs> no one wore me. I'm sat there. I've got no present. Okay, I've got no friends that fly me around places and whatever else. 